Energy Minister Chris Bowen claims Australia's transition to net zero energy, which it plans to do by 2050, will only cost $120 billion. Meanwhile, the coalition is also pushing for more green energy investments and is talking about nuclear energy reactors. At least those will provide reliable baseload power, unlike renewables. But what if the net zero truths we've been fed were based on lies? That's what best-selling author Alex Epstein thinks and he joins me now. Alex, you've detailed uh, every single net zero by 2050 myth we are fed. Which myth or myths do you see as the ones that are most urgently needing debunking? I mean, there are so many and people can check it out at energytalkingpoints.com. But I'd say the fundamental thing is that net zero is a good goal. Net zero means eliminate our climate impact. So 2050 means eliminate our impact on climate by 2050. Now, just philosophically speaking, why should this be your goal? Why aren't you focused on making the climate more livable by 2050, which requires a lot of energy? Why aren't you focused on getting energy to as many people as possible by 2050? And most fundamentally, why aren't you focused on global human flourishing by 2050? So my take is the reason they're so obsessed with eliminating our impact on climate is they believe that human impact on Earth is a bad thing. It's this immoral thing, and we should eliminate it at all costs. And that mentality is what leads net zero to have such catastrophic costs, and the advocates don't care. Consider what's happened in the United States, where our electric grid has been wrecked. Uh, you know, our energy prices have gone up. Uh, look at what happened to Europe with Putin and their vulnerability. Like the net zero movement promised us easy replacement of fossil fuels with unreliable solar and wind. That never made any sense, but it wasn't really sincere. They're not really focused on energy and human flourishing. They're just focused on eliminating our impact on Earth, and they don't really care about the human cost. Well, in Australia and in the UK, both sides of politics seem to be trying to sell us net zero. It is a and I do wonder why. Why isn't there this ideological debate, at least in those countries? Is it because they know it's a myth or is the prevailing narrative so strong that they don't have the courage to challenge it? Why have we got uh, in Australia, for example, both the Conservatives and the left with net zero targets? It's a good question, and I think it's probably more the second. I mean, there is this... Un I think of net zero as... It's both the most destructive idea in the world today, because if you actually did it, it would be the most destructive thing ever to happen to humanity in terms of lives lost, lives shortened, and poverty induced. Uh, and so there, there's that aspect of it. And yet it's the most popular political idea in the world today. And the whole kind of premise of it is that we should just look at the negative side effects of fossil fuels and that fossil fuels have no unique benefits. I think you said Bowen said it'll cost $120 billion dollars to totally replace fossil fuels by 2050. Where on earth has he gotten this idea from? I mean, the world has spent $4 trillion subsidizing unreliable solar and wind, barely made a dent in fossil fuel use, caused a global energy crisis. So it's important, no nation in the world has come close to doing net zero, and every nation that moves in that direction suffers massive negative economic, including energy, consequences. So why is the whole world buying into something that no one can actually do and just small moves in that direction lead to failure and suffering? Well, it's clear by their behaviour, the behaviour of these politicians, that many of them don't actually believe the catastrophist uh, scaremongering they are feeding the public. Uh, not when you look at the way they buy waterfront homes. Oh, yesterday we learned in Australia here that the Greens leader had even chartered a couple of private plane trips. So it's uh, the actions and, and their preaching do not match up. 